going on, everybody? Bad hair, go ham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farms of News, man. There we go, that's better. Today we got 21 PC mods and testing. We got 45 console mods and testing. With all those 23 mods were released today, we're gonna talk about precision farming and what modders need to do to add it to their maps. Today is giveaway number eight for the Farming Simulator Advent Calendar. We've got some exclusives on the Triple Axle Toy Hauler by Lance Modding. A2 Studio just can't leave the TLX 9000 alone. CNH Modding shows off the dirt textures that are gonna be on his Plager Outlaw. CMT Modding has their class in game. Agritono's got a trailer with a crane on it. Slusha's Modding shows off the trailer they teased earlier last week. Ada Modding's putting horses in it. Killer Croc looks to have an exclusive from 40 Modding. Agrimods talks about the 6x4 truck that got removed from Mod Hub. Shaba has another new factory. BSR Modding have updated their factory mods. Missy B has some new placeables. TNT Modding talks about Blue Mountain Valley and Bucks County. Nathan talks about the updates to Meadow Grove. Plus, Oxygen David added a new crop to Chellington Valley. Let's check it out. In testing for PC, we have the Back Manure Fork, Iberian Southlands, IMT5106, KFMR Krugaway Goliath 8000, Kirshner T6000, Lamborghini Mach VRT, Lizard 8-Foot Roller, Lizard Caster, Lizard MK Silo, Medvedin, Mezzo Meta Q60, Mezzo Meta Q75, Placeable Factories Pack, PLN535, Record EMR1600 Evo, Rotoplastic Speedmix 3000, Sawmill, Seed Factory, Sing Single Family House 3, Soznovka Placeable Pack, and the Vehicle Control Add-on. In testing four consoles, we have the Amazon D1, Amazon D8 25 Super, Bandarante Raster H9, Biomass Heating Plant, Christmas Market Beverages, Christmas Market Gingerbread, Cutting Bar Set, Dangreville PE32, Farmhouse, Field Shelter, Gas Station, Hogginstead, Hay Shed, ITS Winter Pack, KFMR Krugaway Apollo 1000, KFMR Krugaway Goliath 8000, La Cornella, the Plow, Lizard 3000, Lizard 43260 Loader Crane, Lizard 445 DTC, Lizard FS62, LK Series Brazil, Lizard M20, Lizard Rumbler Van, Lizard Speed Mix 3000, Lizard T150K, Massa, Medium Pull Through Workshop with Lifter, New Holland T5 Utility Series, Pellet Box, Petro Farm Cell Station, Placeable Factories Pellet Pack, Placeable Fruit Trees Pack, Reba MKE250, Refurbished Bunker Silo, Seasons Geo Weather Farm still in testing. Shed 15 by 19. Snowman. Suznovka. Suznovka Chicken Pit. SP Dump Trailers. Triple Axle Toy Hauler. We're gonna talk about this one. FS Truck HY400. And welcome to Blue Mountain Valley. With all that being said, we still have 74 mods sitting waiting to be tested. And the current average waiting time of newly submitted mods is three work days. In addition to the mods and testing, 23 new and updated mods were released today on the in-game mod hub. I've already made a video showing these off. You can find that video linked below. The precision Precision Farming DLC is now available in Farming Simulator 19 on the Mod Hub and comes in the form of a free DLC initiated by John Deere and financed by EIT Food. It's now available down on the in-game Mod Hub, PC, Mac, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. You will need to update your game before you do anything, so just keep that in mind. If you're on PlayStation, Xbox, that should pop up immediately before you even go into the game. If you're on PC, if you have Steam, should download automatically for you. If you're on the Giants version, you'll need to update. Other than that, pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, so with that, how does it work and what do you do with it? Basically, this allows you to figure out what kind of soil you are working on and how to change the pH levels and things like that so that you can get the most out of your soil. There are four different types of soil, loamy sand, sandy loam, loam, and silty clay. You also have to take different pH levels and the content of the nitrogen into account when improving your yield. First, you'll take subsampling soils and identify its properties and then go into lime and fertilizing with dynamic application rates, which is pretty darn cool. Also comes with a free gator for all platforms, as well as the SCR Scout, which will take the sample samples. Sample samples? Yeah, the sample samples. will take the soil samples for you. At the end of the day, though, they're not done yet. It's not just this DLC. This is a two-year project. This is the day one of a two-year project, meaning that after releasing the free DLC today, they're not done with precision farming. More features are planned to follow after precise academic and scientific evaluation by the involved parties. This includes, for example, University of Reading and University of Hollenheim of other EU parties as well. I've already done a short mod showcase of this in today's new mod video, but later today we're gonna to be live streaming probably soon after this video releases, so make sure you stay tuned for that. One of the questions that was asked was, can I use this on any map or is it just the Giants maps? Well, you can use this on any map, however, 
all of the maps would just use a generic profile. If you are a mod creator, inside your mod folder, whenever you download it, unzip it and go into the precision farming, go to documents, and there you're gonna find a PDF that's gonna give you all the information that you need to add this custom to your map. Today is the eighth day of the farming simulator advent calendar, and today we've got a couple things that are there giving away. First off, the Farming Simulator C64 Edition, strongly limited edition box, oh yeah, contains C64 cartridge, user manual, and a CD with the emulated version for PC players. Also has the Farming Simulator track shirt, men's size, and prairie dust, or uh, <laughs> eat your, uh, what is this, uh, desert tan, something like that. Available sizes, assume it's small, and double XL. There's eight ways to enter today. Enter your shirt size, join on Discord, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, visit their homepage, and follow both of their Twitch channels. Today, we get a close look at the Triple Axle Toy Hauler in testing for consoles right now. This mod was created by a new mod creator, Lance Modding, and is the first mod that they have submitted to testing for Mod Hub. Lots of you have been asking if something like this would even be allowed on the consoles because we never see anything like this before. Well, Lance Modding has said that it did fail once, but was not anything bigger because of platform information. Just a simple fix. As of this morning, the mod has completed completed testing, but we're not going to find out if it passed or failed until tomorrow, unfortunately. Thanks to the mod creator, we do have the mod. I'll be showing it off a little bit in today's live stream with a dedicated video later today or early tomorrow. If you want to check out the mod and show your support for this new creator, check out Lance Modding on Discord. Link below. You guys know A2 Studio. Mr. David, he can't stay still. He said he almost forgot to mention, since there was some extra time due to the last rejection of the TLX 9000, well, he just can't not do anything. As you can see here, we've got what appears to either be some new colors, but definitely some new customization with the wheels. So these are the wheels. I believe something similar to this comes on the Tatra Phoenix, which is an in-game truck. To be honest with you guys, one of my favorite wheel setups at all like period in farming simulator in game it was even in 17 as well love that truck so looks like we're going to be getting these on the tlx 9000 as well cnh modding says the plaguer outlaw is one step closer to being in game today we get to see the dirt textures on here so you see the lightest white on here is going to be mud the grayish will be dust and the black on these will not have anything on them says substance painter is pretty nice more uh more for the normal maps than anything looking forward to showing off what they can do with this in the future. CNH Mining does go on to say that they're going to be cutting some things back, like the double shifters, some fender configurations, etc. So they can hopefully get this mod out by Christmas. Says that doesn't mean you'll never get them. They'll be added in a later update on the truck. CMT Software is doing in game tests on their Clotzerian 4000 5000 work in progress. Here you can see some new tires. These are the 710 or 7010, 75, R42, single, air, and duels. We also have the 875 R38s and the 960 R42s. This is a new mod that is being made for all platforms. Agrotono has something truly interesting for us today. They say, look what's already coming together. A cart that will make work for you in your field more agile. This is, at the end of the day, a tipper with a crane on it. Looks like you're going to be able to use different things with the crane, but mostly going to be able to use the bag lifter that came out uh, earlier this week, last week, something like that. Really, really cool mod. I can't wait to see this. This is neat. Slushes Modding says, another mod finished and sent off to Mod Hub for testing the Lizard GL Trailer 22000. Now, cross your fingers, will be for all platforms. Ada Modding has added a feature to one of the trailers that we talked about yesterday. He's doing from White Bull Modding. Says he's now added horses to the trailer. We've talked about Killer Croc a few times here on the channel. They do really, really good videos. Go check them out. They have like hundreds of thousands of subscribers. They say taking a break tomorrow from actual videos and it will zoom them on Saturday, but tomorrow will be the presentation and publication of this bad boy right here. This is by 4D Modding and it is really, really exciting to see this. I haven't shown off even half of the screenshots that they've got. Go check out Killer Croc 88 linked in the description below and watch for them because they've got some really neat stuff and as far as I can tell, exclusives. Agrimods talks about their Lizard Farmline 6x4 today saying that the interior was claimed for copyright, though they feel like they're in the right. If you guys want to check out what they've posted, I will leave a link down in the description below. Regardless, what does it mean to you? Well, 
This means that, yes, this was pulled, but they're working on a fix for this. They do say that for PC and Mac players, the Scania Farmline 6x4 is available to download via their Mediafire account, and they've got an update for the all-platform version. They say James Log 1.5 corrected the chain pickups, corrected the panel pointers, added optional glass color, added suspension options, added new color options, added radio antennas, and added tires with claws. They say, but wait, bring you more news soon. Shaba says they've got a new seed factory. It will be coming soon for console players. The maps will fit this. will be La Cornella, La Cornella 2.0, Westbridge Hills, and Hogginstead. If you guys want to check out their feature presentation of this, check them out. Link below beside Shaba. In addition to this, VSR modding, which includes Shaba, have updated their Art Master pack. They say it's going to be changed log 1.001, included molasses production, improved the structure, deleted unused files, registered the fill type of molasses, hay and straw pellets are now registered, and possibility of using hay pellets for the cows. They say no straw harvest add on DLC is recommended or needed for that matter. And if you're on PC, you can download this at Nexus Mods. This is not going to be coming to console. However, we're getting things similar to this on console in the form of the production pack. Missy B's got some new screenshots for us today on some stuff that she's been working on. We got some new buildings. Yeah, I love the way these things look. Don't worry too much about the uh, detail and things like that. I'm not sure what type of PC she's using, but I'm sure these will look awesome, especially on a super high-end PC like what we're working with. We'll show these off as soon as we can get our hands on them. Nonetheless, beautiful, beautiful stuff. I'll always take these, especially with drive-through types like this. I really prefer where you can drive through like this. Having to back in and deal with stuff like that gets kind of cumbersome after a while. But these look great. They're going to look even better on our new map, Wither Farms, once we get that as well. TNT Modding has an update to Blue Mountain Valley. So it's in console testing right now. Hopefully will be released later this week. He's added placeable factories to the map. It will not require a new game save. However, factories are not compatible with Season, so do keep that in mind. Bucks County has gotten a new Precision Farming update incorporated. He's working on a few more little things before submitting later this week. Will not require a new game save for that as well. So that is pretty darn cool, he says. But if you want little changes, he made some of the sheds and silos that you'll have to restart. So that is the things it looks like uh, our game save that we've put together is on hold as well. He says more of those who wanted to remove these supplied items and add their own or move stuff around. If you're happy with the way it is, there's no need to restart. Nathan6930 Photography gives us an update to Meadow Grove today. He says, sorry for no updates. He's been busy with other projects. Says some news on the Seasons version for console. Says it did fail a few weeks ago and hasn't got around to fixing the issues, but plans on doing that over the next week. He said the extended version still being worked on when he's got time to do little things. He said, but what still needs to be done? What placeables, cell points, and bunker silos and detail and traffic? He says he's currently got one of the five splines completed. And lastly today, we hear from Oxygen David, and he says while his testers are working on Shellington Valley, he's made a new fruit for the map, Linseed. Says this can be harvested with normal harvesters, just like in real life. And the third stage even has a lovely light blue flower that can give your fields some color. What doesn't have any color is my heart when I have to end these videos. Was that a good segue? I don't know. Just like every episode of Farm Some News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mine, so myself nor anyone else knows when anything is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Ooh, ran out of breath. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the Go Ham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. All being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Dude, these mods coming out early morning are throwing me off. I'm like four hours behind.